Greetings, everyone. This is Jeff with Onyro Civil Rights Investigations. Today is Wednesday, or what? No, Monday. Monday, October 30th, 2023. We are here in beautiful Bunnell, Florida, outside of the uh, Seventh Judicial Circuit Courthouse. Is that right? Yep, Flagler County. Flagler County. And uh, the reason we are here is to fight the tickets that Deputy Gaddy gave me after I flipped him off. And uh, I have my attorney here, wonderful man, uh, great civil rights attorney. Uh, tell us what happened in there, Eric, well, Mr. Friday. Well, we get to present our case. I started the cross-examination of Deputy Gaddy, showed him the video from your car and compared the video from his car. And before I could even finish, the judge said she didn't need to hear any more, that she was dropping the charge of uh, impeding the left-hand lane. And the deputy himself had already, based on review, his review of your YouTube, had already voluntarily dismissed the charge of following too closely. Right. Um, the other interesting point is he tried to use your YouTube video as evidence against you, um, but with all of the edits in it. And because because the editing made it look like at one point that you were catching up to and backing off the same semi, the editing made it look like that, even though that's not what occurred. <laughs> Clearly, these officers are thinking that they can use this video as evidence in the case and that it's not, that it's the raw video and cut up. Now, you know, they also make fun of you and say that you're, make, make false claims against you and say that you're editing your videos to make them look bad. Now, you're not editing the videos to make them look bad. You're editing it for time and content, just like any newscast does. What you put right. on YouTube is a newscast video. What happens and what the raw video is, is the actual events. And this deputy didn't like the actual events, so he went and got a, a copy of your edited video rather than his own dash cam to make up his own story for the court, and the court caught him out. Backfired on him. And also, you know, one of the things that I've learned to do over the years of my activism is not to put the whole video out uh, and let them make assumptions and think Absolutely. that and uh, make their own assumptions and dig their own graves. That seems like what Mr. Gaddy did here because we have the complete unedited video. And of course, it showed that I violated no laws. I was just passing a semi. So anyway, Mr. Friday, thank you for taking time out of your hectic and busy schedule to come down here with this pitily little traffic case and kick an ass for me. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. James Madison Audits here uh, was good enough to come out and, and cover this case, or cover the, the court today. Um, and you tried to record the court, and what happened? I was prohibited from coming in. They're claiming there's a judge's order, but on the judge's order, it specifies what media could do, one cameraman set up, so on and so forth. So we got to look at it and, and find out if it was in fact that. So we'll have to do a request on the audio and video if they have one and do the story there, but I'm glad it was dismissed for you. Right. And so I, I am blessed enough to have my kick ass attorney here, Mr. Friday took time out of his busy schedule come out and help me out um but most of the people that we talked to today that were coming out of the courtroom what most of them pled no contest yep. and they gave him like a little break because they pled no contest except for that well, one girl yeah there were two of the people that i talked to one was doing 103 miles an hour they pled no contest they let the citation go with no like adjudication withheld yep. the female that was in there a younger girl she was doing 107 and they hammer her with all four tickets, I believe, if I remember correctly, from what she came out crying and doing that. So, so in my opinion, this is the type of stuff. This is the, nor the, the majority of interactions that citizens have in law enforcement is traffic stops. Yeah. And these court uh, rooms need to be recorded and put out. I think it's a matter of public in interest, unarguably. And right. it, it should be able to go in there and record it, put it out there and see what's happening to see how people are getting railroaded in the courts yeah. over, the, over these traffic tickets. All right. Uh, we're here in... State v. Jeffrey Grail, which is 2023 TR 4741 and 2023 Draw your attention to October the 7th of this year, the, this year, about 6.40 in the afternoon. Did you have occasion to issue uh, traffic citations on that date about that time? I did, ma'am. Okay. And uh, can you tell me where that occurred? At the 292 mile marker, I-95 South in Fire County, Palm Coast, Florida. And uh, can you tell me where you were and what you observed? I was sitting in the meeting facing the westbound on the I-95 South. Observing traffic coming from north to south. While observing traffic traveling southbound on the 292 uh, mile marker on our 95 south, I observed a black SUV later to be determined drive driven by Jeffrey Gray that was identified by his portal license. Traveling in the left lane in the, in the fast lane with vehicles impeded behind him. Jeffrey Gray was 
following the traffic laws for the speed limit, not passing vehicles. He had vehicles behind him that were stacked up behind him to proceed past him, and he remained in the left lane. Um, as my video will show here when we play it, he merged over from the center lane at the 293 to the left lane. He did not pass any vehicles, remained in that lane with other vehicles behind him until he proceeded past me where I observed the violation. And then when I pulled out, he then moved back to the center lane. And uh, that was more than a mile. I believe I measured it out. I can remeasure it here for those of you watching if they like. And um, that's where the traffic stop was conducted for the UF lane violation and falling too close to the ticket separation. Um, as it goes, I'll try and point out what we're looking at, so, because I understand you guys don't care that. So this first portion of the video is going to be him traveling in the left lane. Um, the semi-truck that's on the screen right now is going to be the semi-truck that he merges back behind as he's traveling. And then it's going to go and do a full uh, from the center lane to the left lane back to the center lane. Okay? Where is this video taken This from? is This is on I-95 South. My vehicle is actually right here. So. Yeah. In the medium. Facing traffic right now. Okay. So this is where he drives past me and observes me, and I observe him in the left lane. If you take note real quick of this semi truck here that has the yellow sticker on the right side of the back, that's where he merges back behind it, and we'll start back from the beginning as well. There's the vehicle that's the vehicles that were stacked up behind him, passing him out. Um, once we'll start from where he moved over to that way. Objection. I believe the video has changed perspective, and I think that's clear and obvious, but I'm not sure that the guy has laid the foundation. This is my dash cam of the video. This is from my inside my control car now. As he passes, as you can see, we have the semi truck with the yellow sticker on the back right side. This black car right here is going to be Jeffrey Gray operating his vehicle with the traffic behind him. All right, this is going to be Jeffrey Gray's dash cam video just prior to passing me. This is going to be the Matanzas exit at the 293 at one mile north. We have the same semi truck with the yellow sticker on the back right. He merges to the left lane, traveling south. Remains in that left lane. Finally passes right in front of me. There's not that separate semi, not the yellow sticker. Correct semi with the yellow sticker. Passes south, does his free speech, and then returns back to that semi truck. So it would appear that Jeffrey Gray just moved over to the left lane for no reason other to it than to express himself and impede traffic behind him. As far as the following too closely um, citation, I'm moving to dismiss that one. Based on the perspective of his dash cam, I don't believe he was too close to that semi truck. The perspective of my vehicle when I pulled out trying to catch up to him, he appeared a lot closer to that vehicle. The video of my what is the uh, speed limit in that area? It's 70 miles per hour. Um, I don't know if you said this already, I apologize. Uh, did you calculate uh, Mr. Gray's speed? I did not okay. do a speed reading on him. I wasn't stopping him for speeding or anything like that. Um, based on his GPS on his dash cam that he uploaded to YouTube, it shows him traveling 70 miles per hour. And I have no reason to repeat that GPS as being an actor. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Friday, do you have any questions for the VA? Yes, Your Honor. Deputy, I'm going to represent you. Oh, actually, let's get the timestamp on the um, Timestamp on this is uh, 6, 35, and 13 seconds. Do you recognize that particular overpass that day? Uh, I do. What is that overpass? That is a livestock overpass of I-95. I don't know the exact mile marker on that, but it should be north. Is that actually a crossbar at Greenway, and it's just north of the position where you were positioned? I'm not exactly sure what crossbar at Greenway is, but... Okay. We lose a lot of I believe it's the one that we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So we watch this for a minute. You said, what lane is Mr. Brady at this time? Certainly. Okay. You see him coming up on a semi truck, right? Thank you. We're we catching up with that semi truck at all right now. Does appear to be speeding. Yes. <clears throat> you say it appears to be speeding. You, you that assume that based on based on the assumption that the speed limit is higher. Okay. 
And Debbie Gaines, if you get close enough, can you tell me if your yellow sticker you're looking for is on the back of the paper or something? I don't know. That's what Okay. But he's passing that to mind. You haven't seen yourself sing on the side of the road yet, right? Yes, sir. And based on the time, it's clear that we're not yet to the time where he passed you, correct? So, you've got your dash cam up on your screen and you, if you can't broadcast it. What time is it that you're sitting on your screen without seeing Mr. Gray yet? This is 6.38 and 27. Okay, so maybe a minute, 20 or so left to go. Now, I believe this deputy will be your semi with your sticker on it this company that's coming that up on. That be the appropriate <coughs> yes. okay. And at this point, is he appeared to be gaining on this semi? Uh, yeah, it's very slowly. Okay. He's passed, as far as passing on the yeah. left. Mm -hmm. And he comes over. Does he still appear to be gaining on that semi at this point, sir? Looks to be about even. Okay. We'll be watching for a few more seconds because we're not quite to your car yet. I'll show you video two, which picks up immediately where video one ends. You'll notice the time is currently 6.38 and 19 seconds. So immediately after that last video cut off time stamp wise, for the time on it. So now he looked like he's closer to that semi than he was a few seconds ago at the end of the last video. Yes. Okay, so he is, do you need to go back off? No, you're good. Okay. So he is gaining, you would agree? I agree he was gaining to this point where he just stayed there. Okay. So at this point, he just stays there for a few seconds, right? You mean back up to see what time that is? 38 seconds or so? In fact, there's you right there, right? So, so we're clear, it's only for a few seconds, right as he passes you, that he is not gaining on that semi. And then, when he realizes he's no longer gaining, what does he do, officer? He moves back to the center lane. Okay. So for a few seconds, just as he passed you, he wasn't gaining, but otherwise he was gaining on that semi, wasn't he, officer? For a few seconds, I would say he did gain on the semi, yes. Okay. And is the standard for, let's we'll talk about one thing. You said vehicles were stacked up behind him. Let's watch this vehicle, this tow truck go by. Any other vehicles behind that tow truck, sir? I'd have to wait and see. Okay. Or I'd have to play mine. Okay. Play your suit, sir. So. At this point is when I did pull out, so usually when people pass me and I pull out, they do slow down. Okay. And stop. But your, your statement was in the video, one car stacked up behind him. Only one car stacked up behind or only one car behind him. It wasn't stacked up, was it, officer? Okay, one car. Say one car right behind another car is stacked. Okay. Mr. Frank's deputy. Deputy, I'm sorry. So deputy, yeah, he had one car behind him. Was that car following too closely? I don't know. I wasn't watching that vehicle. Would you play your video and tell me if that van, if that tow truck was following too closely behind Mr. Gray? Uh, Mr. Frank, I don't really need to see any more. I'm going to find it kind of not guilty. Obviously, I'm not going to Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Friday, do you have any further cases before the court today? No, Your Honor, I do not. Neither do I. There you go. And you have more cases? I do not, Oh, you don't? Oh. Okay.